the LG V20 is in here, and today I am doing a video about the LG K8V on Verizon Wireless, guys. So, um, if you guys probably don't know, the LG K8V is getting Android 7.8 Nougat as we speak. So, I'm on Verizon the software update page for the LG K8V. The B stands for Verizon, obviously. So, the, like I said before, the LG K8V is in Android 7.8 Nougat. This is the LG K8 2016 edition. So, um, yeah, so if you guys have this Verizon on postpaid and prepaid, you guys should be getting a notification about Android 7.8 Nougat. The LG K8V is available on both prepaid and postpaid, guys. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it, guys. So, um, the software version of the Android 7.8 Nougat update is V. S five hundred two uh the software version is VS five zero zero two zero A. That's be Android set Android seven point nugent. It says before you download connect your phone to a Wi Fi network or make sure that it has a strong Verizon wireless network connection. Ensure your battery life is fully charged before starting the software update. Like I said, software version V S five hundred two zero A VS500 is the model number of the LG K8V. It says that the LG K8V software update 4 includes Android operating system upgradable to Android and Nougat that works. Here are some of the key changes that will be available after, you de after your device is, complete is completed with the, is completed the software update. Deleted a picture by mistake. Deleted images are stored in a trash folder for seven days after the deletion. So that's what the uh, thing would look like. Um, so this is giving you guys what the uh, screenshots would look like on Android 7.8 Nugget on the LG K8V. Um, I have all this stuff already on my V20, obviously, because the V20 came with Android 7.8 when it got released. So that's the uh, trash uh, section there on the gallery thing. So there's the trash thing there. So you'll have seven days to get if you delete it off uh, by mistake you'll have it here and you'll have seven days to get it. Personalize your device fonts, icons, and color themes of one of three themes. You get three themes here. Basic, black bold, high contrast, basically the same thing on the LG V twenty. Access the theme menu from the home screen or with the home edit mode press and hold the Press and hold by the home screen and select the theme icon example. So, you guys how to do it. So, you go to settings and then you go to, uh, yeah, so it'll tell you the, I'll tell you the, uh, this would be, I think this is the stock uh, theme on the uh, K8. That would be the stock theme, the stock LG theme. And a chance of this, you choose this one. And this is the uh, original R. Uh, Dialer, that's what it will change to. So you have three themes to choose from. You could possibly download other themes, but I tried it on my V20, and it says that it's risk where I'm not sure what that means, but you know it's bullshit. But yeah, it says Google's download app replaces LG's downloads app, providing more options to filter by name, type, file size, and more. Um. So there's the uh. I guess this is LG uh, downloads folder right there. And then Google folder, I mean the Google downloads will have a circle with the download arrow. Multi window split screen is now supported obviously because Android 7.0 supports that natively so all devices will have that. You can have two apps open at the same time and change the window size. For each one example you can open up the gallery app in the top window in the Chrome browser in the bottom window without having to switch between apps. To use multi window, tap and hold the recent apps icon, square icon on the home screen, and select an app for each window. To revert back to a single window view, tap and hold the multi window icon on the home screen's buttons shown as two rectangles, one one above the other, or by sliding the window separately with line. Or by sliding the one to separately line all the way to the top or bottom of the screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to use multi window. So this multi window right there, there's the two apps there. It 
If it has the little, uh, the little two rectangles, it means it support a window. It support multi window. So you can have any app you want, pretty much. Change your device settings with condition cards. You can now change the settings by selecting a condition card. E.g. airplane mode is on notification. So that's what the settings will look like in the Android Sun Point Nougat. Settings tap the bell icon in the top navigation bar and follow screen. The following screen will be presented. So if you guys click on the bell, you guys will be presented with this. It's an all Android Sun Point Nougat devices that has the LG scan on top there. That's pretty cool there. Tap do not disturb is tap the, the tap the do not disturb is on the condition card and the option to turn it off will be, per, will be presented. Excuse me. An example of the other an example of the suggestion card is also on body detection. Faster navigation between setting screens. By swiping left on the top corner, e.g. settings. You can view and use the parent level setting screen to quickly move right back to the setting screen. Select the gray column on the right. So this is this is the second this is the screen where you can just jump to different uh, setting options. Swipe left at the top left corner setting and follow, and, and the following screens will be displayed there. Navigation drawer. For an example, if you select sound settings option, the following settings screen will be displayed. You can now change fonts, icon sizes with a slider control, default display size setting. Tells you that, that you can set the items on the screen to a size easy for you to see. Some icons may change position. There's a little starter bar down there. Default display size setting. Settings display with the default font the with the default font size. Default settings modifying the default display setting when the slider is set to maximum. So basically make it huge as shit. Modify display size setting. Example of the settings menu at the display size is modified so it makes the font bigger, obviously. So, but that guys, I'm really, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, fucking sick and shit. So if you guys hear my stomach growling, that's why I'm, I'm like, I'm like really sick and all this shit. So sorry about that. Control your notification settings directly from the notification panel by pressing and holding an app notification, e.g., below the email icon. And then e e below, e below is for the email notification settings. So that's what the uh, things don't look like. Uh, it doesn't look that my friend. It looks uh, it lo it looks it looks different than what it does on my phone. But uh, yeah, tap the email and notification and follow the and the following notification option will be displayed right on the notification panel. So if you hold on, it will give you options to do whatever. The settings for sound and notifications have been modified to separate. Out sound and navigation settings. Also, the storage and USB setting has been modified to simple to simply store it as follows. Before, that's you know Android 6.0 Marshmallow, Android 7.0 Nougat. That's right there. Now I'm talking about the uh lock screen now and the navigation and stuff. Um, so back up here the second. The notification card on the lock screen is being modified from displaying two lines of text to three lines of text. As a result, the screen to unlock the device is now separate from the screen, which includes the notification cards on the lock screen. You can still add um, application shortcuts on the lock screen, e.g. call messages plus, call e.g. message, message plus, quick memo plus camera chrome. So that's what it looks like on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. 
this is seven point eight nugget right here. So the time does to find this chain, so um yeah. Upon swiping above the screen, the following unlike screen will be this will be presented. The pattern unlike is only shown as an example. The other like the other unlike screen types are permitted in this scenario includes using a pen, password or not code, that's the um pattern. Next apps and the decimal links. Please allow additional time to for the apps on the phone. Blech. Please allow additional time for the apps on the device to continue to download after the software update. If for any reason the software update doesn't fully download, our software upgrade assistant PDF tool can provide immediate self-serve troubleshooting guidance. Operating system FAQs, check out the latest Verizon offers for LG devices and upgrade to a new LG smartphone. Not sure if you're eligible, find out fast in my Verizon. So, I'll put a link to LG's all uh, the software assistant thing, you know, I'll put a link to that. So, that should be a better on LG's website, and I think it is a better on LG's website as well. I'll put a link to that as well. So, um, yeah, the LG KV Verizon Wireless prepaid and postpaid and Android 7 .8 Nougat software version v VS 500-20A. Um, yeah, this is a budget phone, so, um, it's glad to see that this phone's getting, uh, Android 7 .8 Nougat. So, um, yeah, basically what I just showed you guys in the screenshots, basically what you'll be getting on the Android 7 .8 Nougat on the LG K8V. So, um... Yeah, if you guys got this, this variation, then just follow the instructions, obviously. Um, if you don't have unlimited data, I suggest you guys use Wi-Fi. But, you have, if, but if you have unlimited data, you know, just download it, guys, and it should work for you. But if not, you can use the software. If the, if the update, for any reason, fails, you can use the software update assistant. I will have a link to that in the description video, so um, go check out that. If it if it uh if you if it fails but you shouldn't have any problems hopefully not um so uh yeah this is the LG K V 2016 edition guys this is for both prepaid and postpaid Verizon guys so um yeah it's a budget phone nice looking phone decent specs like I said it's a budget phone so yeah I'm glad that this phone's getting entered some point nougat and um yeah. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.